A landscape in northern Laos is dotted with massive stone jars that people crafted thousands of years ago. The site is called the Plain of Jars, and it was likely used as a burial site. Now, researchers think the Plain of Jars was used for much longer than they previously thought. People may have used the site for 2,000 years. At the time, they probably placed the remains of their dead into these massive jars. Within the jars, those remains would be exposed to the elements, with the tissues being worn away over time. Once only the bones were left, people at the time would have buried their loved ones. For the new study, the researchers focused on one of the most well-known of the Plain of Jars sites. This spot contains around 400 stone jars scattered across more than 60 acres or 24 hectares. They used different analyses for both the jars and the bones inside. They found that the jars could be more than 3,000 years old. Meanwhile, when the researchers studied the human remains inside the jars, they found that the bones were likely interred between 700 and 1200 years ago. That suggests this site was used for a long period of time. The researchers also found evidence for three different types of burials at the jar sites. The primary burials where a full human skeleton was laid out, secondary burials where bundles of human bones were interred, and burials in small ceramic jars that were then marked by distinctive quartz boulders on the surface. These buried ceramic jars were very different from the massive stone jars above the ground. The archeologists can't yet tell if different people used the jar sites for mortuary practices at different times, or if later descendants of the original jar makers reused the ancient sites over time for burials. One of the researchers, Louise Schuen of the University of Melbourne said, what we surmise from that is the enduring ritual significance of these sites. They were important for a very long time. Schuen and her colleague at Australian National University, Dougal O'Reilly, published their findings March 10th in the journal PLOS One.